messy over here. Enjoying the weather. It's like 72 degrees, I believe. But my boyfriend's over here picking up some duty in Hudson's area, and then I'm picking up some over here in Ducey's area because it definitely needs clean, cleaned up. Here's my little station over here. We got um, the poop bags hooked on her little thing. This is the one actually off of her industrial puppy vest. But we have that, and then uh, I pull that off, pick it up, and put it in this little trash bag. So, yeah. And then I'm also going to flex seal because we have this area up here that we get leaks and a couple others around the house. And I think they tried flex sealing before but didn't do a very good job. So we're going to do that. And then last year we got infested by, um, I believe it was carpenter ants. So we don't want that again. So we're going to uh, pre-spray. I kind of like what an exterminator would do last year. And how we got rid of them is we sprayed, well I sprayed all right here. I had sprayed all around there, all around the front of our house. Um, honestly, I almost think I just seen one flying, which means that might have been a queen, but I think it went away. Skyward just pointed out something. We literally just bought gloves, so instead of using all their poop bags, I can just use these. I don't know why I didn't think about that. So instead of wasting all those, pretty much just gonna pick it up with bare hands with these uh, examination gloves. We got all the poop picked up, most of the sticks, most of the leaves, but there's definitely a lot more to do. Ooh, a good old bag. Um, let's see, my boyfriend's got a current pile of debris and stuff over here. I think while he gets the rest of this, I'm gonna go ahead and duct tape the back door actually and spray for ants. One of the places we believe well that we know definitely needs duct taped is this down here because as you can see there is a huge gap and bugs and stuff like to come through here i'm pretty sure that's where the ants like to come through last year not in all the windows but we got all the windows duct taped last year so yeah i'm gonna go out back and get that fixed <laughs> i never realized you can see jack right there yeah that's where we had to shut the main off. And what is this supposed to be? Is this supposed to be like a tiny porch to the back door? Cause that is not a porch. Right there is where I need to seal it off with duct tape right now. But I'm thinking I'm just gonna permanently seal it off cause we're never gonna use this door. So for now I'm just gonna duct tape it, but I think I'm actually gonna like get that foam permanent seal stuff. What the heck were they trying to make here? What is that? What I don't know what they tried doing with this house, but <laughs> okay. The wind ruined my deck tape. The sun definitely is not working in my favor because there's a shadow right here, but I got it all duct taped. I just need to show my boyfriend and see if he approves and thinks anything can come through there. Wow, you've gotten a lot done, baby. Thank you. Hi, sweeties. I was going forever. It's duct tape. That's duct tape. I have to duct tape the house so we get no bugs. True down, we don't get no bugs. Yeah, and I gotta go spray for ants so that way we don't get them. So that way we don't get them, yeah. Yeah. But you can't be out here for that because you don't need to breathe all that stuff in. Now let's check it from the inside. Oh wow, yeah. That well, looks like a nice sealed door because I also pushed the door in. So it's not even as loose as it was. Wow. That's going to help. That's definitely going to help because we always watch. We'll sit here. We'll be in here in the bathroom. We'll have the door open using it or we'll come out of the shower and there'll be bugs crawling out of there. Which, uh, I have an update about the shower. Um, so, hold on a second. If I can catch my breath, 
I'm trying to update you guys on my water heater, but I'm kind of having asthma from doing all the yard work. I've literally been sitting here for like 20 minutes too. 15, 20 minutes just trying to like catch my breath to tell you guys a story, but um, yeah, so as many of you know, we got our water heater fixed. Um, it ended up, the heating element was singed and completely rusted through. Like whenever the guy went to go take the piece out, I don't really know how all this stuff works, I might not be describing this properly, but he like took something out or he did something and um, the heating element had eroded and everything and it had dropped into the water heater and then it just started glugging because there was nothing to plug this piece that he like unplugged and I was like oh my god and I plugs it back up which is fine whatever <sighs> you know and then we had hot water for six days for six days and then I'll take you guys over here and show it show you just I will take you guys over here and show you in just a second sorry my tongue tie has been really bad lately but um <clears throat> Now we have no water whatsoever, not even hot, no hot water or cold water, just no water. We had to shut the main off um, because there was a pipe. We thought a pipe had busted or had um, one of the connector pieces had come loose or something because he had to mess with it. So we thought they had come loose or something. Well, it looks like it completely came undone and actually like popped away from the pipe. I'll show you guys in a second, but now We've been, so we had like six days of hot water, we've been without any water <clears throat> for like three days now. Um, yeah, so we're trying to figure out how to get that fixed. Fun. Also, uh, <clears throat> it wasn't just <clears throat> like a small leak or anything, I mean this thing was like a waterfall, it was spurting out. And I hadn't gone out in like a day or two, and I had heard, I kept hearing the noise from the inside of our room. I thought it was just the water heater constantly running and then we were gonna like call the guy. Well, it turns out that it was just like a waterfall, it was just spurting like a waterfall in our backyard. And Sky had like taken the dogs out previously, but it hadn't happened until later that day or something. I don't know, but we didn't notice it for like a day, a day and a half. So our water bill is going to be uh, pretty big. I'll show you guys the text from the landlord, obviously I want to blur everything out, <clears throat> but it was like, hey, this is just like a notice or something that you guys have used, like 1,280 like or something gallons of water. This can uh, be from like your, to your toilet constantly running, you know, it's, it's an easy fix or whatever. And we're like, oh no, uh, one of our pipes is messed up, but yeah. So we're gonna have to figure that out, it's gonna be fun. But I'm gonna go ahead and take you guys and show you what's all going on. So in here is where you have to get to for the little leak. And it was happening, I think right here, see that yellow piece? Right there. I think it's that piece that was popped off. My boyfriend would have to confirm that for you. But it was just spraying, and it was spraying from right here up, out, all into our yard. So our yard is not dry compared to other people's yards. But yeah, this whole area has been soaked for a few days now. I mean, like, it's still, I can see my shoe print. It's still really wet. But yeah, so, I'm gonna try to get up in there and see if I can't see what my boyfriend was trying to show me. See how that's like popped off? <clears throat> Yellow piece right there. Ooh, spider webs on me! Yeah. So, see how it's not straight on there? We're thinking that's what's wrong. So, <sighs> we're gonna get that fixed. And sometime soon, we wanna get new siding for obvious reasons. And hopefully we can get this power washed, but I went down too long, so I gotta go sit in my spot again. <sighs> I just stepped on that. What do you see? Oh, goodness. Yeah. Hey, come on, baby. Oh, yeah. 
my boyfriend found me some cool rocks in our little bed area, so he thought I might want them, which I definitely do, because especially that one's like really cool. Oh, is there? Hey, look, our little bird friend's back. Hold on. Where'd he go? There he is. He lives in our, uh, he or she lives in our little gutter up here. <laughs> Hi, birdie. Let me get you a birdhouse. Yep, looks like their, uh, looks like their nest is right up here. Right up there. Yep. Mommy's got a spray for ants. I don't know what that is. Oh, it's a piece of wood. That's fine. Ooh, watch it. You can't be around all that stuff. Get up there. Get your couch. Oh yeah, um, we do let her get on the coffee table. Get over there. It's because it's kind of a tight squeeze. What does that sound? I think there's a bug, but tight squeeze right here. So we kind of just let them <laughs> use that as like a step because we're going to paint it and get a new one anyways. But yeah. Alright, you stay there, baby. I'll be right back. <laughs> wow. You got a lot of leaves and debris cleaned up off the patio. Thank you, baby. Wow. Need to get sweep that. Since my boyfriend did pretty much all that, there's a little bit more of that. Ran out of room in the bag, so I'm just kind of straight down to the yard for this lady. We can't get every single leaf up because the ground's. Level and kind of moist, so I'm just gonna tear it up more. <laughs> okay, time to spray the house for ants. How fun! We got someone working on our water heater, well, on the pipe issue that we have. I'm sure you guys have already seen that clip. But I'm going to try to get the panels off this um, siding, because this is where the main shutoff is. Turn it on. Uh, yep, alright. Thank you. You want to help? took this one out for you last time too, right? Mm -hmm. <sighs> yeah, I don't know why they put the water in the actual, like, inside, in the middle of the trailer. 
It's not just something you can open up and get to, which is weird. Hold me around the bathtub and see if that works. Like that. That's what we're using for plugs with socks. Okay, let's see how long that is. Alright, they say we're good to go and we can shut that off. Oh my god, it is finally fixed. It doesn't look how it did. I don't really know what they did to it, but they definitely fixed it. But yeah, that's... I'm trying to show you guys, but I can't really get too good of an angle, but... Wow, that looks so much better than whatever was wrong with it. Oh yeah, finally got that done. I don't know why they never took this off the trailer, but... Like, look at all this stuff. What is... <laughs> I don't know, I'm just glad that's fixed, so we're probably gonna go give the dogs, well at least Hudson, a shower. We finally got that fixed. We have hot water, cold water, and just finally water again after like a week or two of just not having any water. But um, I have to fix this little siding, so I'm gonna do that. Hey Deucey, a baby. <laughs> there is a dog going crazy up there. Oh, because they're playing with it on a scooter, that's why. Alright, honey, come here. Let's see if you can't push this one down in there for me a little bit. You are an excited boy. No. We gotta get pictures of you. Yeah. For your Instagram. For St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> Alright, let's get your pictures. <laughs> Gary, go get daddy some coffee at the gas station. Since he wanted to talk me into it. Apparently your daddy needs coffee to focus. And concentrate to work on the house. God, my emaciated pit bull has ribs showing, even whenever she bends this way, has no muscle on them, has hips poking through, even though that is exactly what an American pit bull terrier is supposed to look like. Oh God. Oh no. She's not fit weight at all. Instead of being obese like most of America's dogs. Oh my god, so I'm exhausted. I took this extra piece of carpet that they left whenever we move it in. It was just kind of stored back here. I finally decided to cut it and lay it down today because this under here is filthy and disgusting. It doesn't have any like actual like tile or anything. So I cut this carpet. I'm gonna leave the excess just because whatever. But it's in there really good. I'm gonna put a big ol' shoe rack in here that also kind of makes this piece stay in more than it would because it would come out to about here without the carpet so i think i can i think it's pushed so much now i can just kind of like nail it in <laughs> we finally have like a little official closet slash year set up changed it around a little bit this one right here is pretty much the same and then we just put all of our shoes and everything over here. All of my purses, my backpacks, my hydro pack, some of Medusa's gear, my fanny pack, lunchbox. Then we got some Skyway jackets, my jackets, and the dogs grab and go training and sports vests. It's kind of messy because I need to do some dishes, but so that huge entertainment center from like the 70s, we finally just have like a normal little TV console. So yeah, I'm, I'm pretty excited about that because the one that we had before was like all the way up here and it was just ridiculously too big. If I were to put a TV on it, I wouldn't have been able to watch it because my neck would have had to been looking up too high and 
Yeah, I prefer this so much better. I just woke up like 10 to 15 minutes ago, went to go edit this vlog, and then realized I didn't make an outro, so here's the outro. Uh, got a lot done yesterday, we finally got our water fixed. At first we just didn't have hot water, and then we didn't have water, but now we have both cold, hot, and just overall water. Um, so after getting that fixed, we ended up doing dishes obviously, did a couple loads of laundry at Sky's Mom's. We got the closet um, organized, got our shoe rack in there, did a lot of like gear organizing and they finally have like official gear set up place. Um, we flex sealed the windows because there's a couple weeks leaks uh, as it's raining right now so hopefully that worked. Uh, yeah, so I hope you guys liked it. Don't forget to like and subscribe Subscribe if you enjoy this content. I'll link my social media and everyone else's social media in the description box below. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.